not freaking out, not crumbling on pressure. You're able to control your emotions and you can handle suffering and pain and adversity and be the sponge to take the beatings that the life and the universe and the world and the enemy is thrown at you where you can just absorb it. You can soak it in with a smile on your face. That's the kind of person that your, your people need to be around. That's the kind of person that people want to follow, that has the courage to run towards the danger, towards the gunfire as a protector and as a provider. Your community that the planet needs, the one that runs straight into the mouth of the devil, swings. That's what being the one is as a man. And, and I tell you what, it's, it's lacking a lot these days in the world, really almost non-existent, these type of men. What's up, freaks? Welcome to another episode of the Steve Eckert Show podcast. And today we are talking about being the one. First, asking yourself, are you the one? How to become the one and what to do if you're not. We're going to dive deep into being the one. What does that even mean? We're going to dive deep into detail. So stay tuned. This means being the one that everyone in your life looks to, relies on, looks up to. That's what being the one is is all about here on the Steve Eckert Show. And if you've been here before, you know the Steve Eckert Show is a show on how to flip the switch and have a no excuses, badass mindset guiding you to adapt, overcome, and destroy the obstacles that are preventing your success in your mindset, your family, your fitness, and your business so you can stop being a little bitch, get your shit together, and start living life on your own freaking terms all while you create your own personal freak freedom lifestyle. And in order to do that, in order to have this type of transformation we're talking about, it is imperative. It is required. I am demanding for you to become the one. That's what we're talking about, the one. What is the one? Let's, let's dive into it. First off, it's being the one, and, and actually, be the one is one of my themes of the year. And If you watch next week's episode of this podcast, you'll see what that is, how to do how to create your own theme of the year and what that even means doing themes of the year. But be the one is one of my themes, one of my phrases, one of my terms of this upcoming year. And it's also really one of the, the it's become one of the, the taglines, one of the, the, the sayings of the Freak Father Alliance, the men's group coaching program, the men's mentorship program that I run, the Freak Father Alliance. It's become, it's be the one all the time. We talk about it. That's how we end, end every session. That's how I end every post is be the one, reminding men to be the one in their people's lives. Now, that means be the one that, that people turn to. Be the one they turn to when they need help, when they're in distress, uh, when they're feeling scared, or they're lacking clarity, lacking focus. Be the freaking one. Imagine being the one that your, your family relies on. The one that everyone around you, your people, your kids, your, your wife respects and leans on. And be the one that, that they expect high standards and have high expectations for you. And it's up to you to deliver that every freaking day. Be the one that is on overwatch, is watchful over your people. Be the one that's the, the flame keeper, keeping the fire in, in their lives, keeping the, the fire lit under everyone's ass alive, helping them carry that fire and being not just a flame keeper, but the, the flame thrower where you're infectious around to the people all around you. Like that's how you are, are thinking of being the one. And it also means the one who shows up cons with consistency as a man with consistency, with strength, uh, that, that be the one that can control your emotions, that when everyone else is freaking out, everyone's running around with their, like a chicken with their fucking head cut off. You are the one that's keeping your shit together, not freaking out, not crumbling under the fucking pressure. You're able to control your freaking emotions. And you can handle suffering and pain and adversity and be the sponge to take the beatings and the bullshit that the life and the universe and the world and the fucking enemy is thrown at you, where you can just absorb it. 
You can soak it in with a fucking smile on your face. That's the kind of person that your your people need to be around. That's the kind of person that people want to follow. That's not freaking out. That's not bitching out. That has the courage to run towards the danger, towards the gunfire as a protector and as a provider. That's what being the one is. And not just and, and it starts with being the one for yourself, but also for your your family, for your spouse, for your kids for your close friends, for your community, for your neighbors, and just keep expanding those rings outward until you get to the, in, the, the entire fucking universe. And even to a, to a higher calling, like that, that your community, that the freaking planet needs, the one that runs straight into the mouth of the devil, swinging a fucking ax. That's what being the one is as a man. And, and I tell you what, it's, it's lacking a lot these days in the world really almost non-existent, these type of men, these type of men that are acting in this way, in accordance with this way, in alignment with this assignment that we're talking about. There's a a major lacking of men. It's almost frowned upon to be this one that we're talking about, but I am challenging you and fucking commanding you to be that one in your world, in the life of your people, the one that's bringing hope to people, the one that's showing the freaking way, carving the way, blasting the way for your people because you're thinking bigger and you're, you're giving, bringing that hope and inspiring change. The one that's the one that people watch. You're also the, you're one of the one that's watching over your people, but the one that the people are, your people are watching and they want to emulate and they want to be like you. They want to follow in your footsteps and you're, you're creating those future leaders. That's what being the one is. It's a, Really, a, a role model mindset in leadership, in fatherhood, in manlyhood, in fucking humanhood is the way you should be thinking. You're not just watching over your people. Your people are watching you, and you're just ready for war. You're ready for violence, to violently attack the day or violently attack the enemy that breaks your, the perimeter that you're securing for your freaking people. Because listen, as a man, you were created to create. You were made strong to be strong for your people. You were made smart to teach and create future leaders. You were made a man in order to lead and to bring order to the chaos. And that's, if I could say, would it, sum it up in one saying, what it's all about, what being the one is all about. It's about bring, being the one that brings the order to the chaos. That's what it really comes down to about being the freaking one. Having that strength, stability, and leadership as a man. That role model, again, that your, your, your kids want to emulate. That your followers, your people want to emulate. Be followable. If that's even a fucking word, I don't care if it is, but it is now, motherfucker. Be followable. Like leading and living in such a way of being the one that people want to follow you. And want to emulate you and be like you. And what you're going to do is, is creating future leaders who also create future leaders. Because you're the one holding the fucking line. You're the one. You're, you're the shield. You're the sword. You're the sponge. You're the freaking will. You're the source. You're the fucking man. You are the one. Break those down again. Think about the shield, the protector, the sword, the warrior, the fighter. The sponge, the one that soaks in the damage and the pain and the suffering and the hardship. And helps carry the freaking load. And helps deal with the hardship. The will. The one that gives the will to fight, to live, to survive, to thrive. The source of strength, of energy, of hope. The man. The one. They say the heaviest burden of a man. I don't remember whose quote it was. It was something like the heaviest burden for a man is to have nothing to carry. Think about that. We were built. You were built to be this one that I'm talking about. You were built to carry the load, to bear the weight, to accept the burden, to be the sponge and soak in the problem, soak in the pain without fucking wavering, unwavering. Resolve is what the one is. When you realize that pain is permanent. Once you know that pain isn't going anywhere, and you're able to withstand it, whatever the fuck the universe is going to throw your way, and you're the one that can withstand it while everyone else is breaking and crumbling, when, when, when all other 
earthly freaking beings are crumbling under the pressure of pain and adversity and suffering and hardship. You're just right. You're right at home. Another day at the motherfucking office. There is a peace in the pain. When you can make peace with the pain, there is a peace in the pain. That's what being the one does. That's the one that people want to follow. When you can have discipline in the darkness and turn that suffering into a superpower, that's some powerful shit. That's what being the one is all about. That's what being the fucking one is all about. Being the one having... And it goes into the, the pillars of the Freak Father Alliance, which we're going to do a whole entire episode on the Freak Father Alliance just to break it down. What is it all about? Why we created it? But the pillars are mastery, mindset, muscles, money, mission, and meaning. Imagine that being the one that's leading towards self-mastery and helping other people to go towards self-mastery, being the one that has control of your mindset and not stress about outside the, the Stoics call it the externals. Being the one that's focused on your muscles and being strong and capable and being the one that people, your, your kids want to look like. I'll tell you what, man, and I've talk, talked about it before. If you're that fucking fat slob with a gut and bitch tits sitting on the couch drinking fucking beer, watching football on a Sunday afternoon, and your kids are just out there playing in the yard by themselves, throwing a ball against a wall like I did when I was a kid, because my father never had a catch with me not a single day in my life. I'd throw a ball against a wall for a nine-inning game of baseball, pretending I was the Mets with Lenny Dykstra and Dallas Strawberry, and I was, I was Dwight Gooden being the pitcher, playing hours of a baseball game against a wall by myself. If, if you're that guy that's sitting in the house while your kids are out there doing their own thing, I'll tell you what, motherfucker, you are not the one. You are not the one that they're saying, wow, I want to be just like my dad. They want to be nothing like you, motherfucker. They don't want to look like you. They actually hope to God they don't have your genetics so that they won't look like you or hope they don't have your work ethic if that's you because you are not being the one if you're neglecting your body, yourself, your health, your strength, your muscles, your training. You're not being the one. No young boy wants to grow up looking like a soft slob, although most are looking like that nowadays and they might pretend they like it. Your wife might pretend she likes the way you look. Oh, I love you anyways. No, but in the back of her head, she's like, wow, you are fucking sloppy. You are lacking discipline. You're not even a man anymore. That ain't the one. So I challenge you to be the one when it comes to the, the mindset, the muscles. Be the one when it comes to the money. You have a duty and obligation to be the provider, to make more money because you don't know what's coming the next day that you need to have that money for. And you watched last week's episode was all about money and the need for making money. Yeah, we want to make impact, but we also need an income to support our freedom, to support the experience we want to make. So be the one when it comes to money. Be the one when it comes to a mission and a meaning for yourself, for your family, for your people, for your higher calling, for those things that are important to you, the things that actually mean something to you, a purpose, having a purpose where you're on a mission. These are all what, what being the one is. It's about standing out, being bold, standing up, standing tall. That's who your son is going to look up to and want to become and want to be like where you're just bullshit bulletproof. That's what that sponge is. It's a sponge. It's soaking it in. It's giving it back out into the, the, the universe as that energy, turning that suffering, kicking it back out as a superpower. You're bullshit bulletproof. You thrive under conditions that crumble regular men. That's what the one is. And there ain't many fucking ones out there, I'll tell you that. Doing shit, living a life that, that people think you're lying about, creating a life that you don't even need a vacation from. That's the one. That's the one that people want to be like, that your kids want to be like, that your kids want to, and you're going to create, if you are this one that we're talking about, you're going to create kids that far surpass you in their life. Do much more than you ever did. Because this is what we were meant for. We were, we, we need to suffer. We need to struggle. We need to sacrifice in order to be the one, to find out what we're made of, to see if we have what it takes, or if we still have what it freaking takes, what we're actually capable of. Will we crumble under the pressure and make excuses when shit gets hard, when shit gets impossible? What will we do in the face of impossibility, in the face of zero chance of surviving, zero chance of success? What are we going to do in the face of that? We need the freaking challenge. We need the violence, the darkness. We thrive in the suffering and the pain and the competition. Fuck the fear and the doubt and the uncertainty. We need the impossible, the danger and the risk and the adventure as men if you are the one. And we need to demonstrate that to each other 
and to the world and to our people and even ourselves that we are the one, that we are men, that we are capable, that we have what the fuck it takes, that we can and should be followed by our people, by our family, by our community, by the world, that we're built fucking differently, that we have the strength and honor and courage and commitment and the fucking balls, that we are bold, tough, courageous men and leaders, the providers and the protectors, as fucked up and human as we are, we are fucking men and we should be the one. This is the path. Your, the path to being the one is your energy, your discipline, your confidence, your focus, the, the direction that your mind sends your subconscious in. Make, make that shit intentional. Make being the one being intentional. This is the path that you're carving for your people. You set the tone of what direction and, and where you're going and leading your family and first leading yourself, of course, as the foundation. That's what you're, that is the path. Going with the way that you are, it, it, nature intended you as a man to be, following the signs of the world, of the universe, of God, or whatever it is, to take your people on the path and on the journey, leading the fucking way, charging straight forward. And the rest doesn't matter. This is the path. Being the one is the path. Being the one is the journey. This is the way. You, if you are the one, it are the fucking way. And you also need to earn the right to be the one, to be followed, to be listened to, to be taken seriously, to be trusted and called upon by your people, by the universe, by the higher powers to the next level. Because you need to earn that next level. You need to earn being the one, being the one that your, your people want to follow. Earn it through your experiences. Earn it through your pain and your suffering. Through your story of, of perseverance. Through figuring it the fuck out. From flipping the switch. You're earning it through your story. Through your journey. Through your methods. Through your, through your tragedies. Through your struggles. And through your victories. That's how you are becoming the one. You're, you're carving that path. Digging the route. Leading the journey. Showing your people the way. Think about that. That is, as a man, they say that man was created in the, in the basically in the, like a, a picture in the vision of God. Like a man is a godly creature. Man, man is created for this reason. This is what you were created for as a fucking man, to be the one. And, and sadly, most have given up that responsibility. They don't want any part of it. It's too hard. It's too much pressure. It's too much work. Motherfucker, that's what we were here for. That's what we're built for. That's what we're put here on this freaking planet for, to put in this work. And watch the previous episodes of this podcast teaching you step-by-step how to be the one. That's what this is all about. That's what we talk about in the Freak Father Alliance, the men's group coaching program, which I'm going to do an entire episode just on that to go even deeper into this as what being the one is all about, what the program is all about, and how, what it's for and what you actually get out of it. But that's what it's all about, digging into it and being the one, I can't say it enough times. I want it just to drill into your head. Being the one with your self-mastery, with your mindset, with your muscles, your money, your mission, and your meaning. Think about the, the mastery. That's your personal and emotional development. Think about your mindset, which is your mental development. Think about your muscles, your physical development. Think about your money. That's your income and impact and business development. Think about your mission and your meaning, which is basically your purpose and your impact development. This isn't just happen overnight. This takes work. It takes consistency every motherfucking day, all in, all out, all the motherfucking time to become the one. If you're not the one right now, you need to become the one and following these steps, following all the previous episodes. You could literally, this is episode number 32 That's you have 31 episodes leading up to this, teaching you literally step by step how to be the one, how to be that role model mindset, how to be the uh, an even better husband, an even better father, an even better leader, an even better entrepreneur, an even better motherfucking man and human in general. Follow the steps and become the one. I want to hear what else you think adds into being the one that your people want to follow, the one that makes you the leader of your legacy and your tribe, and your people. 
So put the comments down below. Let me know what being the one means to you. Let me know what the traits are you, you, you think requires you to be the one. And what are you doing to be the one to your people, to your family, to your sons, your daughters, your spouse, your people, your friends, your, your team? It's time now. We Listen, men, count now more than ever. We have work to do. So let's get to fucking work. Stop making excuses. Stop accepting excuses. No fucking excuses. And be the one. And if you want more information on the Freak Father Alliance, just send me a message or put a comment down below and I'll send you all the information how you need to evolve the Freak Father Alliance so we can work together to craft your life to help you to become the one and even better husband, an even better father, and even better leader and man on this planet. So send me a message. Let's talk about the Freak Father Alliance. I will see you next time in the next episode. And in case no one told you yet today, you are fucking awesome. No excuses.